The lawyer for a man shot and killed by a Jacksonville officer demands more transparency from the state attorney's office. He says he has new information about the deadly encounter and he feels the shooting was not justified. Loved ones say 32-year-old Michael Hughes was a father of two boys and a good person who had a mental illness. An officer shot and killed Hughes last month at the Quality Inn on Youngerman Circle. Police say Hughes got control of the officer's taser and stunned him, forcing the officer to shoot. News for Jackson reporter Corley Peel listened to a news conference this afternoon from Hughes' family attorney, and she's joining us live. Corley. That news conference wrapped up about an hour ago here at the attorney's office, and they say the witness has a different story regarding the taser and a struggle with that taser before the shooting happened. The attorney officers responded to the quality in for a nonviolent domestic dispute involving Hughes' girlfriend. According to JSO, Hughes grabbed Officer Wing's taser, then stunned him. Attorney Marwin Porter says he spoke with a witness who believes the officer tased Hughes, not the other way around. Porter says there are two body camera videos. One of them stopped working and the other fell to the ground. He was able to review the video and says you can initially see the officers approach Hughes inside the hotel room and hear a struggle as they try to restrain him. And you hear, um, you know, get off me, get off of me. And then you hear he's going for my taser. He's going for my taser. And then you hear a bzzz, and then you hear two shots. Porter says there was a gap between time and more shots were fired outside the hotel room. He says those shots were not heard on body camera, but he says he has seen some hotel surveillance video, but he was told there is more surveillance video from the hotel and he has requested to see that from the state attorney's office. He's asking them to reveal that video so they can get a better idea of what happened with that shooting. He says as of right now, he doesn't feel the shooting was justified. And he says there's a strong possibility that the officer could be charged. Reporting live from Brentwood, Corley Peel Channel 4, The Local Station.